Hi everybody, I'm Hector Garcia, and I'm super excited to announce that after, I don't know, maybe 20 years of asking for this one report in QuickBooks Desktop, we finally got it. Check this out. Can't contain my excitement. Reports, customers and receivables, invoice profitability by customer. Look at this. You can't just start a slow clap at any old time. You gotta wait for the right moment. Jeez. All right. Let's talk about this. So this report is very complete. It's not perfect, but it's very complete. So when you first run it, you get your date range, which is perfect. I could do all dates so I can see every single invoice that I ever had and the profitability. One of the things that you cannot do is undo the grouping by customer. That would be pretty amazing where I don't, wouldn't want to see the customer. I just want to see all the invoices and then maybe a separate column for the customer. That would be awesome, but that's not available. You have to group them by customer no matter what. There's no option to do anything like that. The other thing is a little bit confusing is there are uh, these columns. There's cost, sales price, actual cost, actual revenue, and difference. And I'll talk about markup and margin in a little bit. So cost and sales price are if you had bought the unit at the price that shows up in the item description. And if you have sold the unit at the price that shows in the item description, those would be the numbers. And then actual is what you actually had on the invoice. So I'm gonna illustrate an example that way it's just super, super clear. So I'm gonna create a new invoice here. I'll pick a customer. I'm gonna grab an item code. So I'm just gonna grab any item code here that it's an inventory part. That's a really important distinction. Uh, it needs to be an inventory part because only inventory parts carry cost. If it's a non-inventory part, you're gonna see a pure profit. Basically, you won't see any cost. So this item right here, the SC 12 times three inch SS whatever, if I actually go to edit the item, Notice that the item has a cost of $1.25 and it has a sales price of $2.50. Now, just to make things a little bit easier to understand, I'm gonna make this a cost of 50 and a sales price of 100. So simple, easy to read, okay? 50 and then 100. I'll go ahead and click okay, okay? So now, if I actually go back into the invoice, I'm gonna put a sales price here of 200, just to kind of simplify things. Uh, so we got a sales price of 200 and then I'm gonna click save and close. Once I complete the transaction, I'm actually gonna see here that where it says cost and sales price, there's my index cost, the one that's in the item description. And then there's my sales price, the one that's in the item description. But then the actual cost is the historical cost of this item is $1.25. So you can we can look at the history of the item and see any time that it was bought, it was probably gonna be $1.25. And then actual revenue is what we actually charged. So that gives you the, the difference. So what, one of the things I wish this report did is by default, not even show the cost and the sales price because that's confusing. Just show actual cost, actual revenue because it's what you actually paid for the item versus what you actually sold the item for, then the margin and then whatever your markup and your margin is. Like it would make a lot more sense if it was just like that. Now it doesn't mean that that information isn't useful. As a matter of fact, if I were to filter this, not filter, but change the way this report is used, and I were to just take, uh, for example, sales price versus actual revenue, I can actually compare uh, invoice by invoice, how much was I supposed to sell the product for without discounts, how much I've actually sold the product for. That information is useful. It would be even more useful if I could break it down by item and actually see the specific items. Unfortunately, this is an aggregate of all the items and I can't do it. Uh, by item. The other part where I think the report's missing something here is under customized report. I wish that under filters, you could filter by the item name. So you can do it by a particular item or a particular group of items. For example, if I wanted to only to show inventory items, exclude a particular item, exclude labor, exclude um, uh, shipping, that sort of thing, that would be useful. But in the filter, 
these things are useful, like being able to filter by rep, for example, being able to see the history just by one rep, that's useful by itself. Again, it's by invoice, not by product. But what I would love to see is be able to show a delta. So if I were to just show sales price and actual revenue, be able to see a delta, that way I can kind of see, for example, what's the aggregate amount of discounts that this particular rep is giving. So, so, so like I said, I love the report. I mean, it's a great first start. It's just missing those comparative points that would make the report a lot more useful. Of course, I can export this to Excel and figure that out. Same thing on uh, the other side. So if I were to just show cost and then actual cost, I can see what the item was supposed to cost me based on the item description versus what it actually cost me ba based on the historical valuation of all the inventory. And then I'm gonna turn everything back on over here. So you can see this is a, the default way that it shows uh, everything. So we, we, we've been asking for this report for years because in the past you could never see um, profitability by invoice. The closest thing to that was to actually open the invoice, go into reports, go into transaction journal, in here, click on customize report, click on filter, go to account, and then click on the option that says all income or all ordinary income and expense and click okay. And then you would be able to compare the credit, which is the sales portion with the debit. And then the difference between these two, again, you can't even see it on this journal report. You have to export to Excel or use a manual calculation. That would be your profit. So right here, it tells me that this invoice, invoice 71061 has a profitability of roughly 6,000 or five, five, five high fives. So if I go back into that report and I look at that invoice um, right here, the profit is 5,820.79, right? And so super useful report. I love the fact, that, again, you got that slow clap for me and everybody, all the other claps from me <laughs> from this video. It's a really great start, but I, I would like to take it one step further, be able to filter by item, be able to break it down by item, be able to unbreak the by customer, just be able to see the invoices uh, straight, uh, straight like that. Uh, be able to compare the delta between the sales price and the actual uh, uh, the index price or the cost and the actual cost. Seeing the delta on those would be useful. So anyway, into it. If you um, ever come up with a, a new idea of building a report, just give me a call. Give me, give, send me an email. I guarantee you that we'll have one hour phone co conversation and you will make these things a gazillion times better. Trust me when I tell you. It's a great report. It does need those couple of extra steps, but either way, kudos to Intuit and hopefully it'll be useful to you. See you in the next one.